Well, I'm from the Fort McMurray 468 First Nation, and I live here on the res. Uh, you can see Greg Barley is kind of behind me here, and uh, I wake up this every morning, <laughs> and it's really beautiful. Um, I was asked to do this uh, teaching about the ribbon skirts, and when I thought about it, I uh, I thought there are different teachings from, uh, you know, that the teachings vary from different places. Uh, so I thought that I would uh, talk about uh, my, uh, the way that I was taught and what I was told. And um, like, if you see my, my skirt, it's, uh, it's kind of flowered and they call that uh, calico. And uh, when I wear this skirt, if you can see, I've put um, what they call applique on it. There's four grandmothers, uh, four ladies down there that are praying. I don't know if you could see it, but there's smoke that's going up to the creator from their prayers because the women say a lot of prayers for the community, for the people. And the colors that I have on it are purple and, and brown. The purple is the grandmother color and uh, sometimes brown is used as well. Uh, we're Cree people, I'm part Cree and part Dene. And uh, they, um, when the uh, old people, I think about my grandmother and she used to always wear a dress or a skirt, uh, no matter what time of year it was, no matter uh, what she was doing. It, she always wore a skirt and you know before her time the ladies uh, used to use uh, gunny sacks for skirts well of course they used uh, I guess you'd call it buckskin or you know hide a tanned hide for, for dresses and, and that and then when the explorers the settlers came they started using gunny sacks from the flour and, and merchandise that was being shipped. And then the, um, the uh, traders uh, learned that they were using that. So they started putting a um, uh, pattern, this calico kind of pattern on their uh, material, or their, uh, what did I just call it? But anyway, they started using that so when I uh, wear this, it's in honor of, of the uh, of the women who uh, you know who were back in the uh, back in history. When we go back and we think about those ladies, you know, who worked so hard and traveled over this land. Like today, we have um, you know we have uh, cars and quads and whatever that gets us around and then you know they walk through this bush through these trails uh you know a lot of times packing uh you know packs on their backs packing children and uh going through this bush and they were wearing their dresses you know they they went through a lot of hardships and they still wore their wore their dresses, their skirts. So to me, this is an honor of those ancient ladies who, excuse me, who were here and who, uh, you know, who uh, worked so hard. And if it wasn't for them, you know, I wouldn't be standing here, my ancestors, those women. And all, you know, we have to acknowledge them. And to me, uh, wearing this calico skirt, is in honor of them. You know, my grandmother, she used to be on, I remember when we were on the trap line, I was raised on the trap line, and uh, it, it could be 40 below zero, and she would be, you know, my grandpa and my granny used to take turns uh, 
you know, the snow of those days used to be really deep. It was really deep. And uh, my grandmother would be in the, take her turn to go in front of the dogs, the dog team, uh, to break trail for the dogs. And she was wearing her skirt. You know, that's how tough those old ladies were. Her skirt and her moccasins, you know, and, and breaking trail uh, for the dog team. And, uh, you know, and with a pack on her back. And, uh, you know, it's, it's the, uh, the strength of our, of our ancestors, those women who came before us, you know, those women who fought, the, who broke the trail before us, you know, and who uh, broke the trail before our, our generations to come. Those, those women, I wear this dress in honor for them. And when I when I put this applique on, I was thinking of uh, you know of our uh, our traditions and our culture and how up here we have uh, four directions. You know, there's the the people in Chip. You know, the there's uh, the north, the north, and then the people over there in the south. You know, in uh, Chippewan Prairie, and and then there's. Uh, there's us, you know, and then there's the east and the west and that. And, and uh, I think about, uh, you know, that and and I put those four women there. It was like uh, there are four different uh, communities. And I know Chip has two uh, bands there, but uh, there's, there's still one community. And, uh, you know, in the prayers of our of our women that have gone on before us, uh, they've prayed for us so that we could walk on this earth, so that we could have running water instead of my, you know, this spot right here is uh, when I was first born, my mother and my father, the, I, I was raised right here when I was a little baby. You can still see the outline of the house right here. So I've gone all over the place and I've come right back and this is where my house is. I'm here at the lake and you know sometimes I think about my mother and she would walk down this hill with a little bucket you know and our five gallon pail sometimes and she would walk down there five gallon pail in each arm and she would walk back up with those full of water up here you know and that's the strength of us our ancestors us women and if we could be you know a quarter or a half of the women that they were will really be something. You know, I sometimes think of that. And uh, to me, uh, when I wear my skirt, it's it's honoring the women who came before me. Uh, you know, many of them I didn't know because it's generations and generations before them. But it's also honoring the ones that I remember, my grandmother and my mom and other women who, uh, who were here who, uh, you know, who, who I have I've known in my life and who mentored me and taught me about, you know, to be, uh, to be who I am and taught me the history and taught me uh, some of what they know. And it's also, I wear my skirt and I also think of the generations to come. You know, I think about my, uh, my children now grandchildren, my granddaughter, and I think about the generations to come, many generations to come. Some people say seven generations to end ahead. I think about generations and generations ahead because when we say prayers, when us women pray, we pray for generations to come. We don't know our uh, our great-grandchildren yet, maybe, or our great 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 grandchildren are all those future generations and we don't know what they're going to go through but we still pray for them so when i look at these ladies i think of that so it's a it's a reflection of our women in the past it's a re, you know and it's to acknowledge those women who will come after us and to try to leave uh, a better uh, a better earth, excuse me a better earth and a better future for them so that when they walk on this earth you know, it's st they'll still have an earth to walk on for one thing. Uh, you know, we always have to uh, be respectful for our mother earth. 
and uh, you know, so that the future generations are able to enjoy what we were enjoyed today. I can hear the wind, you know, you did going through the through the trees, through the leaves. I can look at the water here. And I was uh, just walking down here, and there was a duck. You know, we, we can in, still enjoy that today, and hopefully they'll be able to enjoy that in the future as long as we mine this earth for them and mine the air and all the elements and uh, walk with respect on this land. So for me, wearing a ribbon skirt has a lot of meaning. And uh, I've made the skirts for other ladies and um, and I still do. And I, uh, I really love it because when I do, I smudge around the area. I think about that lady and I think about who she is, you know, who she is as an individual and her footprint on this land and her life, her history, her future, you know, and, and the generations to come after her. And I think about uh, what's important to her. I always ask, what's important to you? You know, what do you see? What do you want to see on your skirt? What What do you, what, re because to me, it, I, a skirt, you know, I, ha I have a few, but this one is uh, more special to me. And it's a reflection of myself, my history, my future, future generations. And it's, um, it's a fully reflection of who I am, I guess, and prayers and, and all that. So I try and think of all those things about that lady. I make sure that I've smudged around so that, you know, good thoughts, good energy is there. I ask the creator to take, if there's any negative energy around, that the creator will take it to a place and where it won't harm anybody. Because it's kind of like um, what the uh, Chinese people call, uh, what do they call that? Where uh, what goes around comes around. You know, you, you try to, uh, if you feel anything negative, you don't send it back to where it comes from. You pray instead for wherever it came from, but you also um, give it to the creator, you know, and ask him to take it to a place where it won't harm anybody. Because uh, that's important, you know, you don't, uh, because it bounces around. If you put out good energy, that good energy bounces back to you. You put out negative energy, that negative energy is going to come back to you. So when I'm sewing, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of good energy and, and good, uh, trying to stay focused. And if I can stay focused, I'll play, I'll play some powwow music. Or I'll listen to uh, a recording I have of an elder, or, uh, or I'll pray, you know, and I'll think of uh, who I'm sewing for and try to remain there. And if I can't, I'll just get up, put my sewing aside, go do something else, come back to it the next day or, or whenever, just to make sure that each stitch that I put in there is positive and not negative. And so for me, that's the basics of, of what a ribbon skirt is uh, that I've been taught, what I've seen, and what I've learned. And uh, I wanted to just share that with you. And, you know, it, I, like I said, there's, uh, there's different teachings all over, you know, and, uh, and it has different meanings to different people, I guess. But we're all, all our teachings are basically the same. And we're women, and this is this is what it's a it's a it's a powerful thing when you wear a skirt. It's a powerful thing. It's not punta, as they say in our language, and I don't know how to say it up in English. It's not for nothing, I guess you would say. But it's a it's a power it's a powerful thing. When I wear my skirt, I feel empowered as a woman, as a grandmother, as a mother. You know, I feel empowered and I feel focused and I know who I am and I'm proud of who I am because I'm a Neha. I'm, I'm an Indian woman. This is who I am. Hi, hi. I want to say thank you. Thank you for listening to me. 
and uh, and I pray for you that you find your own direction. Bye, bye.